G'day, it's the spicy one Chris here. Thank you for joining me with the continuation of my vlog style series of building my own PC and sharing the tips, tricks, pitfalls and whatever else happens along the way. I thought I'd talk about the power supply today and how we're going to install it into the case. Now, it's the Corsair HX1000. That's a very beefy power supply. In fact, it's much more than I need. The reason I got such a large power supply is because you can see here the fan. The fan will only run when it's under a heavier load. That means that I'm guaranteed under normal conditions it will be very quiet. Okay, I've just moved some things out of the way so we can get a closer look at... This is our work area here where the power supply will be placed. Uh, that's for the plug to the wall socket, your on-off switch. So this will be facing outside. So the case will be inserted like this or like this leaving you with about that much space there for your cable management and it will be very, very tight in there. Okay, now the first question is, do we install it like this with the fan facing down or like this with the fan facing up? What do you think? It's kind of a loaded question because there really is no right or wrong answer except I will give you a thorough recommendation as to which way I think the power supply should go. The first thing you should do is look at the instruction manual or go to the website. In this case, it would be Corsair's website. Find out which way the air will flow. Will the air enter through here and out that way, or will the air come in this way and go out that way? In the Corsair case, the air does indeed come in this way and exit through there. Knowing the direction of airflow, in my opinion, is the key to the orientation of your install, this way or that way. Now, if you do install the power supply fan down like this. That means the air is going to be drawn, cool air is going to be drawn from the underside of the case and it's going to exit through here. It's always a good idea, in my opinion, to be drawing in the coolest air possible because the fan is there to cool the power supply. There is one catch though. If your PC is on a carpet, especially with a really thick pile, then definitely do not mount the power supply with the fan like this down. Assuming your PC will not be standing on a carpet, I say please go ahead and mount the power supply like this with the fan facing down. Additionally, it provides extra protection so that components from inside the case, also little screws, for example, and they get really tiny. Also, water leaks. If you've got a water cooling system, they can't affect the power supply because this side here is fully sealed. Now, let's spin this case around. Okay, the power supply is going to be under here and you can see that there's a grill here reinforcing what I said before about water leaks or little screws dropping. Yes, the tiny little screws, uh, there are some that are tiny enough to uh, fall through there. Let's consider for a moment now installing the power supply with the fan up like this. So that means the air going into the power supply will be going in through here. The air is coming from inside the computer here. That means the power supply will be receiving warmer air. That means the power supply fan is not able to function efficiently. 
Thermal management also becomes unnecessarily complicated when the fan of the power supply is facing up. That's because we introduce a potential extra direction of airflow. We already have air flowing from fans here, this direction and exiting over here. Depending upon how the CPU cooler is mounted, air might flow up this direction as well. If the power supply fan kicks in, we now have an extra direction of airflow being pulled down in this direction. So when you have an, a new direction of airflow with air going down this way, that means there is less air available for the other tasks at hand. Crucially, and I haven't mentioned it as yet, you've also got your graphic card. Your graphic card will be located approximately here. The fans will be underside, so they are going to be pulling air up in this direction and out the sides. That means that in this area here, you've got competition now for Air wants to go up here, but it's also being pulled down here. Considering how important my GPU is to me, I don't want that kind of contention. Additionally, also consider that the usual location of your SSD mounts is in between the graphic card slots, so I'm going to have a really, really hot SSD located halfway between the graphic card and the grill here where the power supply might be demanding more air. Just think about it then, at that crucial time when you really want as much clean, cool air as possible going into your graphic card, you've got a, a big load on, then suddenly the fan of the power supply kicks in and you've got less air available now for your SSD as well as your graphic card. It's not good. I'll put it bluntly, let's just cut the crap. Install the power supply like that and I think I will have less problems with my computer. There's a second part of this video. It's not all about thermals and fan direction. The power supply might seem to be a really obvious place to start with your install. I think installing the power supply is a great place to start but I don't go too far with the installation. What I like to do is attach the cables that I'll need to the power supply and then I'll position it inside with the cables attached but I won't screw it in in place just yet because there's every chance that I've forgotten a cable. So attaching your cables while the power supply is outside gives you full access to the mounts there so that you're, you're not trying to, to fiddle with really thick cables and trying to bend them around and, and push other cables out of the way. You've got full clearance here. As well, you may have the opportunity then to sort of bunch up the cables or commence a little bit of cable management while you're outside the case when it's easy. Now, I, I did mention briefly before, but I'll labor the point again. Your power supply probably came with a brief instruction manual. There might be additional information online. Always check your instruction manuals. You'd never know what might have changed since the last time you didn't install, for example. Attaching your cables to the power supply while it's outside the case is also consistent with giving you the flexibility to do a test install. Now, what a test install is, is uh, forget about the case. You just get your motherboard, you place it down onto a, a wooden uh, bench like this. You then put all the components onto the motherboard, the graphic card, the RAM, CPU, CPU cooler, for example. You then plug it in and hopefully everything works. That's all from me today, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on how do you mount 
your power supply, fan down or fan up. Everyone has an opinion, I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I'm the spicy one, Chris. There are more to come in this series. Who knows what will happen next? Thank you for watching. Stay spicy now.